In time, I was ushered, as if by a gentle force, through a series of labyrinthine crevices and corrugated crags, and eventually into a deep gorge that was perilously steep and somewhat disorientating. But the intangible ring of static brightness seemed to prevent me from losing my footing, almost as if I was endowed with a corrective gravitational or gyroscopic impulse that was supporting my body weight, while also drawing me downwards into the fissures of the blackness that yawned below me. It was with a great deal of shock as well as incredulity that I found myself to have suddenly departed from the ground to an extent that, to all intents and purposes, I appeared to be levitating. Clearly, my physical motions were occurring outside of my own volition. The cliff, it seems, had taken hold of me, quite probably using the psychic leverage of the native triangulum, and were transporting me down to the inner world of their planet, for reasons which I could not imagine.